Hello, welcome to day three in the Big Detox House. Um, as you can see, I'm a little bit more with it today. Uh, last night was terrible. I really don't know what happened to me. After I made my video diary, I kind of had some kind of weird nervous breakdown. And um, I couldn't sleep. It felt really, really strange. And I know it wasn't from hunger because I just had the... Um, the meal, the evening meal. So, uh, really strange. I think it was toxins and just things leaving my body because when I woke up, I slept really, really deeply um, and I had to get up at 6.30 to go to my job, which was out of London. And I felt amazing, really light. And, uh, and I kind of like skipped to the tube station, merry as you like. Hasn't had my breakfast smoothie yet, so you know you'd have thought that I'd have been in convulsions, but wasn't. Uh, had my breakfast smoothie after like an hour of travelling, so it wasn't like I was ravenous at all. And then I've been working, which was great, really. No bloating at all. Um, very, you know, looked very kind of nice and healthy. Felt really light. And lunch was the only kind of oh, bit where I almost, I didn't almost fall down, but I felt a bit jealous of everyone with their, like the photographer was eating Cocoa Pops and the makeup artist had this amazing chicken biryani and I was just like, oh, give me food. But uh, apart from that, absolutely fine. It's now ten past six and in about 50 minutes time I can have my um, evening meal, which I think is sea bass tonight. Woo! And then it's over. I can't believe it. But actually, my booker at work just said to me, um, "You need to, because she did a, a juice detox. You need to keep your portions very small for the few days afterwards." But actually, I think that I'm going to do that anyway. There are so many things I'm going to take away from this detox. Um, I mean, Monday night and yesterday were quite hideous, and I just felt really depressed, like I had nothing in life to look forward to. Um, but I really think that it has started to change the way that I feel about eating. Um, there's nothing that I'm particularly craving at the moment, just a bit of food in general maybe. Um, but actually not even that, I'm almost sad to see the detox go. Uh, I think when I do this again, and I am going to do it again, and that's genuine here, um, I would do the six day one but I would be more prepared for it this time because I really wasn't, I was expecting kind of three light meals to come um, in the delivery, not a load of juices and then one meal in the evening. I think that's just what really um, took me aback really. So uh, I'm going to have my last evening meal tonight and, um, and then tomorrow, or the day after, I'm going to really evaluate what I feel about this and uh, what I've taken away from it and give you a proper appraisal but you know as you can see I'm all smiles today and I'm really feeling very positive about it that could be because the end is nigh but um, no I, I actually do think that um, I feel very positive about this experience and I feel so much lighter and I feel really alert I do feel a few twinges of hunger now but I mean it's it's because I know that my meal is on the way and um, yeah, so look out for my, I'm going to do like a, a, a last video or perhaps a write-up um, talking about the ups and downs and generally what I felt. But if you were kick-starting a diet or, you know, you really had been terribly bad and unhealthy for a while, then I think that to do this for three days, six days preferably, you know, is, is really quite a good thing to do. So there we go. I shall see you again for my... Um, probably really long over rambling uh, evaluation of this experience but until then uh, happy eating you lot and I'll be happy eating tomorrow